Hey guys, this is Kate and I have another new collection to share with you. Please excuse any background noise you hear. Our puppy Ellie is awake and she is in full destructive mode. So I'm trying to keep her occupied with some packaging. Um, anyhow, so this is the new Crate Paper After Dark collection and it's a Halloween collection and it is so much fun. And I've said in other videos, I normally don't do really themey things like this, but I have some really fun projects in mind that I want to do for Halloween fall season. So I looked at the different ones that were available and this one was by far my favorite. So it's very reminiscent of an older um, American Crafts line that came out for Halloween fall that had this pretty blue color in it that I loved. And I have a couple sheets left, but not enough to do um, what I want to do with it. So um, let me just jump in and get started. There's a couple of specialty papers. This one is called Candy. It's a orange glitter stripe and then the opposite side is this fun pattern this one is called october and it is a bunch of cut apart tags that i think are perfect for halloween especially if you're going to make treats like for your kids classes or something and they have glitter on them which which is what makes makes them like specialty i love that pattern in the glitter it's awesome and then the back side is just that pattern this one is called Happy Halloween and it's a bunch of three by four cut aparts. They're really, really cute. This is that blue color I was talking about that's in the line. I really love that. And I love kind of the, I don't want to say they're vintage because I think they're more retro than vintage patterns. And then, oops, the back is a spider web. This one's called Haunted, just some cute haunted houses. And then this pattern on the back, which is a bunch of scary movies. That's cute. This one is called Black Widow. Fright and Fun. So it's a kind of banner. And if you look really closely, it has like jack-o'-lantern faces. Ellie, please stop. And then this is the back, which I think we've seen. This, this pattern was in the um, poolside line, except the dots were multicolored. So this one's just black, which is really cute. This is by far my favorite paper. It's called Magic, and the thing of it is I love this side. I just love it. It reminds me of a Studio Calico pattern that came in a kit, but then the back is like my all-time favorite, so I had to get a couple of those. This one is called Pumpkin, and it's just a zigzaggy, but I love this side. It's a black with a white or cream polka dot. This is cream-based. This is called Midnight, and it's, it's kind of a grayish cream. Chevron. This one's called Trick or Treat. Just a bunch of fun names. And then I love these words on the back. This one's called Costume. The Chevron. Night Owl. It's really cute little owl faces. And then the back is a kind of tone on tone polka dot. This one's called Spooky, which I like that it has a little bit of craft in it, especially for the project that I'm going to do. The bats. And then just a bunch of definitions of like Jack o Lantern, Midnight, October, those kind of things. This one's called Spellbound. These are also really cute to cut apart. And then the back side. This is the 12 by 12 chipboard and it does have some glitter on it. I really love these banners. And I love this like blackout um, font that they use. Some tags, some frames. The little mason jar that says Boo is really cute. And then some other frames here. So that is the chipboard and then there are some 6x12 or if you open them up you know 12x12 12 12 stickers and these have um, gold foil on them and they I love that they, when they put these like directional things on here and these little things that came like in the confetti line I loved those. Um, a whole line of stars which is really cute they're individual little stars you have an alphabet that is black with gold. Um, and then just a bunch of little bats and I love the, these sticker sheets because there's a really good mix of like big things to use for a title and then a bunch of little small things just to add some detail like that says so darn cute and then it's crossed out and says spooky and then there's a little um, gold spider there that's really cute so I love those. I just, I just love crepe paper they're just awesome. 
These are the enamel dots and they are in black, gold, and a really pretty orange color. There's 72 pieces, which is a lot. These are the puppy stickers and they are just so adorable. There are 37 of them and they have a ton of gold and it's like a super shiny gold. I love it. And the bats and then these little icons and this little like bunting is so adorable. And I love the gold jack-o'-lanterns. So that, those are the um, puffy stickers. And then these are really cool. These are called, they're just stickers. I think they're like $1.50 or something. And you get a bunch that say Happy Halloween, Trick or Treat, October 31st, Candy Please Costumes, Oh So Spooky, Hey Pumpkin, and Halloween Party. So these are great for doing like mass production of Halloween themed projects. And then last is the ephemera pack. There are 72 pieces in here. I just love the packaging. So cute. This is what comes inside. And if you stick around, I will show you what is in here. Okay, so here are all the little tiny pieces and these um, pumpkins and stars and this um, crow are all gold vellum. This is gold cardstock. And then these are, these are little cardstock pieces. There are a bunch of orange paper clips, which I thought was interesting. And then there's also the letters to spell out um, spooky. And I don't know if maybe you're supposed to like use the paper clips to attach them because it looks like there's enough for the word spooky. I'm not sure, but maybe that's an idea to do. These are really cool big letters that spell boo and they have a little bit of gold around the trim. There are a couple of these kind of bow dimensional. I mean, I guess they're a little bit dimensional, but little like, I don't know what you call those. Oh, there's another little star. And there's this little half thing here. There's also a bunch of vellum pieces and some bigger that you can use for titles and then some just like kind of images. There's the spider web. And then this is a really cute like corner that you could put in a corner or something maybe, you know, spider web. A bat. 31 and then a little skeleton friend and then for cardstock pieces and these are I don't know if they're changing their ephemera or what's going on but these are like super thin like really thin I don't I I, rem I tend to usually feel like crepe paper ephemera pieces are really nice you know nice weight but these feel really thin so these are really cute little like pendants or whatever um just a bunch of fun things some have a little bit of gold i guess this one has gold it says stay spooky that's cute this one has a little bit of gold happy halloween these are more vintagey looking i feel like than the paper and stuff is Still a little retro, but, and then there's some tags. That's cute. Happy Halloween. And then a couple of frames. And this one, I punched the words or the letters out. It said October. And I saved them because you could use those to also spell out the word if you wanted to. And then this one that has the gold foil. So that is the ephemera pack from Cray Paper After Dark. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys real soon. And head over to my blog for links to the products and more information. Bye.